Alright guys, so here's our bicycle setup. This is Kelly's bike, it's a hardtail. This is Joshua, our oldest. This is a tag along. Really easy, it's foldable. This is my bike, it's a full suspension, but when I'm towing with the boys, I can just lock the suspension out, not even worry about it. This, this is the trailer that everybody stops to ask about. This is the WeHoo I go two seats two people. The front child can pedal, the back child can have their feet up or strapped into the bar. They are in a seated position, so for the younger kids, that's great. That's why we got it. They're in a harness. There are arms, and it's all aluminum. It's very light. It comes apart right here and here from the bike. So this easily fits on a bike rack. It fits in the back of the van real easy. When we're going on day trips, really long day trips, we also take the Burley B. It's, it's a two-seater, hooks on real easy, but on a full day trip, on a full day, day trip, we got it because it has a trunk. We put our cooler in there for all our boys' snacks, for our lunch, for our water bottles, real easy. And I can hook the Burley B onto the back of the red trailer, or I can hook it onto the back of the green. I did do some grinding here. I ground off these little tabs on both sides. That way I can have full, full turn all the way around, as well as articulation up and all the way down. We can go on single track with this all day long. There's just a pin here. Quick release pin. Slide the trailer in. This is square tubing. So it's aluminum square tube going into an aluminum square tube. Slides right in. Line the holes up. In it goes. Screw on the pin. Push down the quick release. You're now ready to go. It's fully connected, one bike. Good to go. On the WeHoo, it's actually really easy as well. Pull out the quick release pin. Trailer up. This one has a claw. Just slides right on there. Sits there, free. The pins automatically line up for the aluminum. It's real nice and easy. Slide in your quick release. Ready to go. This one also articulates up and down and fully, and I can actually articulate this one all the way around for super tight turnarounds. I could turn this thing around in a parking spot easy. And because the boys are strapped in, it's no big deal. Then the Burley B, of course, it just hooks straight onto a little quick release here. Stand it up. Normally I have a second person do this, help me hold it, but it's actually really easy and it's really light. I mean, I'm standing here holding the whole bike up. Burley B just hooks on here. And then we're good to go. When I ride with the boys, my seat is up. The trailer coupling actually slides up and down. That's real easy. On the other one, it is clamped on there, but we have the rubber and felt on there. That way it doesn't scar up the seat post. That is one thing I wish they changed on that. I wish they went to a collar like the WeHoo. That's why we like this one. This is a full setup. Me pulling the WeHoo I go to and the Burley B. I've had all three boys in it, my oldest pedaling the middle one riding, and then the youngest one in the trailer with the cooler. It adds maybe 100, 120 pounds, no big deal. It's actually really easy to do. So this is how easy it is once you're set up to go ahead and put the boys in and you're down the trail. All right, hold down. Oh, there you go. We found that it's really, really beneficial to have somebody holding the bike and the other one putting the kids in. It's just easier that way. In the back, they have the harnesses to hold them into the seat. They've also got the arm rails. Their feet strap into either the pedals or the rail. It's really easy, it's really safe. Child in the first seat pedals. It actually does, have, it does help 
if they don't pedal, you're no worse off. And if they pedal backwards, they're still pedaling and getting exercise. Get on. And then we mount, and then we go.